For those who have moved here recently, you may know Frisco for its many shopping centers, heavy traffic, and tens of thousands of homes. It may be hard to imagine that Frisco hasn't always been the booming suburb it is today. 30 years ago, Frisco was just a small farming town north of Dallas. Kip Bloodsoe of the CTE Center has lived here for a long time. I have lived in Frisco all my life except for four years in college and one year teaching in East Texas. This year is Bloodsoe's 31st year teaching at Frisco ISD. He has seen Frisco go through massive amounts of change since he was a kid. Very, very small, did not have a red light, just a flashing yellow light off of Maine and Preston. Did not have a McDonald's, had one grocery store. Uh, the Dairy Queen was the biggest thing, and Dairy Queen is where Double Dip is now. My childhood home was in West Frisco. We lived in several places. It was one off of 423 and Main Street, and then we moved off of Witt Road, which is a little lamb, but it's still Frisco School District. Well, we farmed land. We didn't own it. Uh, we owned some of the land. It was pretty close to Lone Star. Uh, we farmed some land there, and we farmed land where Little Lamb High School is now. Bloodsoe went to the only elementary school, middle school, and high school in the city. I went to elementary school at Acker, and you went there through the fifth grade. And then I went to Frisco Middle School, which is currently the SOC. And then when I went to high school, it's currently where Staley is now. When I was in high school, um, I had 42 in my graduating class. Last year, there were 520 graduates of Frisco High School, and that's just one out of nine high schools in the city. You know, when I moved back in the late 80s, uh, Frisco was still small. We still had three or 400 in high school. We only had one high school then. Um, then in the mid-90s, when Frisco High moved over to the current places it is now, it started to grow. And then I would say the late 90s, early 2000s is when it has really exploded. Currently, there are 65 schools in Frisco ISD, including Calvin Bloodsoe Elementary, named after Mr. Bloodsoe's father. Well, my father um, was, had several roles in the school system. Uh, he was a bus driver the first time because he wanted his kids to go to Frisco, and he lived in Little Lamb ISD, so if he drove a bus for Frisco, the kids could go. Uh, he was on the school board in the uh, 60s and early 70s. Uh, being on the school board, driving the bus, and with all of his kids going through the schools, and then we have two that came back to teach, I think it was just a combination of all that. The population and development of Frisco continues to grow each day with new shopping centers, neighborhoods, and venues like the Cowboys practice facility. I'm Luke McGuire for WIN-TV.